everybody <laughs> that, that rides by, they're like, damn, what is this guy doing? Got the damn, the damn. <laughs> the water is that way. So I'm gonna skate a little bit that way and then I'm gonna come back over this way. So, how y'all folks doing this beautiful day, man? Your boy out here skating, you know what I'm saying? I would have brought the bike out, but why bring the bike out when I get to skate? If you see me fall, you didn't. Cause boy, I tell you, I'm moving. It is kind of nice out here. You got the planes coming over. Days like this just remind you of how good God is, man. It's like, you could have chose to wake up anybody. You woke me up today and you could have chosen to, I don't know, it's just like I can go on and on. But it's just like, days like today, I'm just reminded of how thankful I am to be alive, to be able to do what I'm doing, to be able to breathe, to be able to walk. Like, I'm on skates right now, on my own two feet, you know? I got these as a gift, I didn't pay for them. I was blessed to buy this camera, share my story with you all, and it's like, what a beautiful life. Regardless of all the ups, the downs, woo. Just regardless of it all. And again, I have no idea how much you guys are hearing. But, all good anyway. You know, you just gotta give people a smile every now and then. I don't know if you guys can see her, but you have no idea what your little smile can do for somebody's day. So, regardless of, I don't feel like it. Oh, damn, my man's way over there. <laughs> regardless of how you feel, man, just smile today. Breathe, take a deep breath. You know, you're alive. I don't want today to turn into, <laughs> hey, motivational talks on Mike. I was joking with, my, with one of my friends. He was like, you got that 3 a.m. motivation all day, every day. And I was like, not necessarily, but I do try my best to put my best self out there. You know, st take the, the steps that I can to make myself better. Y'all didn't tell me I had this lock standing up. Let a little bit of wind get under them, they start acting unruly. I said I was only gonna go a little bit. I've gone triple the distance I've skated initially. Oh well. Well, that was nice, that was really peaceful. Got some good music playing, break out the skates. It's never a bad time. And of course, just smile, man. You know, this week was particularly a very hard one for me. Um, this week, last week, the week before that, <laughs> they don't get any easier, do they? But it always feels good to smile and make other people smile because be the light in the world when there's so much darkness. I mean, the Bible always talks about being the light on the hill that can't be put out. And so, with days like today, where, you know, I'm just going about my daily life, and I carry a smile. At first, it may not be the easiest thing to carry it, of course, but after a while, it's just like, that's just my natural <laughs> appearance. And so, the more I carry on, the more I skate, the more I just see people, interact with people, um, the easier it gets. So yeah, carry a smile, buddies. It's always great to uh, be parked somewhere where you can get access to, you know, free power, AKA the sun, <laughs> be parked in the sun. Remember I said I came in here for some chapstick because 
if you can see you can see um your boy lips look like i just kissed a bag of flour um but if you're new to the channel hi my name is mike i'm living out of my own self-converted camper van and welcome to living like mike because you're going to be joining me on the journey of life and that is if you um decide to stay around hope you do because if not you're missing out on a whole bunch of fun yeah so as i mentioned welcome this is my self-converted camper van i spent roughly about two months um it's a little bit less than that two months converting this into this i've never done any of this before um, i was really really excited to do it to get on the road right now i'm in arizona so shout out arizona it's hot for no reason i mean it's not hot i just finished skating so i feel like i'm warm right now um i have a little bit of a nose cold uh because I don't know what. I don't know where it came. Oh, I took the when I was taking the bus because I was moving. I moved all my stuff from a storage unit in California out here to Arizona, and I took the bus. And on the bus, I brought two masks and decided on the bus. I was like, you know what, man? I'm gonna keep my hoodie on, turn away from people, and I'll be perfectly fine. As you can tell, I'm not perfectly fine. Um, so I have a sweet and spicy noggin cold, um, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, so I just have to deal with that now a little bit. Um, I just grabbed a cup because I was gonna pour out some water, but yeah, welcome. You know, it's my little home away from home because um, home is where the heart is. I don't know if my heart is necessarily here yet. <laughs> but uh, I'm cheating. I like my water room temperature. So I have a five gallon water uh, jug. This cup is clean to my knowledge. That don't look so clean to me. You know, it takes 33.7 seconds to wash a dish, bruh. So, it's still kind of weird for me to have my door open and everything. Because, like, it's like, it's my house. If it's dirty, it's dirty. If it's not, it's not. And people can see that and it's like, damn. I know YouTube makes everything look so glorious. Everybody's bands are always spotless, tip-top shape, clean nothing's broken hey my van's not finished and things are broken and things are all over the place and guess what if you look hard enough you're gonna see buddy um but such is life i'm not perfect the van was built by an imperfect builder um but i'm loved by a perfect god so hey balances out makes everything equal and even more than equal but yeah like i was saying um so damn it is windy no big deal if someone comes and parks right here which is sound because if they do they're so trifling if they do they're so trifling if they do they're so <laughs> uh what a dangerous world we live in that guy got out of his car and disafricking peered, bro. He's not in there no more. I said, if you come pull up to the one spot that's open, well, to the one spot that's next to me, you're childish. And what did he do? Just that, and then disappeared. Childish. I'm just joking. Um, okay, I just remembered what I was gonna say. What I plan to do for the next, like, what time is it? Three. 317 what I plan to do for like the next 20 minutes I'm gonna you know kick my feet up drink some water play a game of chess I'll update you all on how that game goes I'm not gonna lie to you I lost that game then I lost in flying colors um I don't know what happened buddy uh, the, the daggone damn, hold on, let me set y'all back. Yeah, all up in my chest. Damn, damn CPU hit me with the panorama jamble rama right hook. You love to see a big family having a good old time. Um, the CPU hit me with the panorama rama jamble and uh, dropped me with the left right combo. Monroe's hot chicken. That little dude felt hard as hell. And I can't laugh because my door is open. Doghouse Burger Restaurant. Where am I? What cuisine is this? 
I'll hit y'all back when I figure out. That's so childish. I was I was recording this entire time in time lapse. Um, but here's a piece. Of I was gonna eat in the van, but decided that I could just sit here and eat for a little minute before I hit the road. Been in the van all day anyway. All right, thank you. What? Oh, I thought I left my phone. That would have been wild. I have to go back in there. That server, she was really nice. She kept checking up on me. I was like, why does everybody seem so young around here? I go and check. I'm like, I think five minutes from ASU. I was like, oh, that's why everybody seems so young. So young, youthful, and full of life. You love it. Um, but all right, I gotta go back to my. I gotta go to my storage unit right now because I'm meeting someone. Excuse me, tonight to uh, who might possibly buy one of my bikes. Um, I'm in the process of still, you know, like condensing. But there's another word for it. We're just getting rid of my stuff, and so. I have one of my bikes. I brought it with me actually here to Arizona, and so I'm in the process of selling it still. Um, God willing, it sells either today, tomorrow, or Monday. Today's Saturday, Sabbath, and so um, I'm praying that it sells. Um, yeah. So let's get this show on the road, my boy. Oh, great heavens! Driving this big behemoth in like a regular parking lot. It never gets easier, but I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I don't know how, you know, because essentially this is day one of vlogging my activities. But, you know, like Arizona is pretty beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I haven't seen many states. I've seen probably 10 to 15, um, all of them in like small portions and quantities. So now that I'm on the road, um, it's going to be pretty a lot different. It's gonna be a lot different now because I'm gonna be able to slow travel. All of the other times I've seen different states, I was, you know, fast traveling, you know, speeding through them on the middle of a road trip. Uh, you know, my family and I, we've taken trips from California to Georgia. You know what I mean? And in that trip, we're not stopping and enjoying no, all. It's like, we need to get to where we're trying to get to. And so, um, right now this is very different for me because I get to slow down, I get to relax. Um, and just enjoy life. You know what I mean? Like, I was telling you guys earlier about, you know, just smiling. <laughs> this girl's riding a bike, and I promise you, she's giving me anxiety. <laughs> because she got no business being on this big of a bike. <laughs> Yo! Um, yeah, man. I'm just excited to, to travel, for real. Oh, yeah, shout out Otto's Pizza. That pizza was pretty good. Actually, really good. Um, I'm eating, I'm trying to eat a lot cleaner and a lot healthier. And so, why are you eating pizza? Well, I mean, I'm not eating like from the big fast food chains because they tend to put, because they need to make so much pizza, it tends not to be the most quality, you know, ingredients. Um, since it, you know, with smaller places, they tend to do it all, you know, in house, in store. It tends to be a lot more quality in terms of what you're eating, like physically, literally eating. And so, I decided to, if I want pizza, which I love pizza, it's great, um, let me just go to smaller stores, smaller shops. And so, so that, that's what I decided to do. And it's funny, because it's literally right down the street from where I was parked and um, outside, because this is the, uh, that, that walkway, that parkway that I was on earlier skating. Um, it's really nice though, because like I said, I'm down the street from the college, ASU, so they have access to this. You know what I mean? Like back when I was in San Diego, we had access to so much, and that, I just feel like that adds like a, a huge, like just release from school. I'm looking at y'all and driving, see bad habits. <laughs> but um, I, I feel like that adds such a, a huge like weight off your shoulders as a student to just, just be able to like I can go walk next to some of the only like some of the old I don't know what I'm saying right now but just like you, you know what I mean yeah and I feel like that's that's such a nice thing to have not too far from yourself um, yeah so I'm about to hit this drive um, I got 
20 minutes worth of driving. It's probably not the smartest idea to talk and drive. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you all in a bit.